Today on Garden Fork, portable brick pizza oven. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, we're gonna build something I've been wanting to build for a really long time. We're gonna build a brick pizza oven. Wow. But it's gonna be portable. The, the biggest problem I've seen with pizza ovens and bread ovens that you build in your backyard is once you build them, they're huge. And ugly. And they don't move. You can't put them away. So once you build the thing, you better really like making pizzas and breads, you know? So then I found this book, this ebook online called Bread, Earth, and Fire by Stuart Silverstein. And he has in there a dry fit brick pizza oven. Dry fit, what's that mean? That means we aren't, we're not using cement or mud or plaster or anything like that. We're just gonna fit the brick together. It's, it's, it's a, you can put the oven together and then take it back apart again. Whee! That's the beauty of this thing. All right. All right, let's go. So a couple things you're gonna need here. You're gonna need brick and ideally you're gonna use used brick. This is clay brick. You can't use brick that's made from cement. If you go to your home improvement stores, most of that brick they sell is made from cement these days. You want used brick, find why, it. Why used? You could buy new clay brick, but it's really expensive. Okay. Throw it far. Yeah. But anyway, but clay brick is good for making ovens because it's good at getting hot. What you want to do then, you need a base for your brick oven. I've got two layers here of commercial, it's a cementaceous board called, it's the commercial, one of the commercial names is called Duroc. Okay. But it's basically a lightweight cement board. It comes in, uh, I think 48 by 60 and I cut it in half. So by one sheet, cut it in half, and you've got 48 or 32 by, just, just cut the thing in half, okay? And start laying out your brick, okay? You want seven bricks across, and four bricks deep. How many bricks are you going to need all together? Uh, Stuart's design is 96 bricks. What is that tool you have? <laughs> oh, this is just a chisel. Uh, you can use it to, if you have some uh, extra little pieces of cement on here, you could scrape it off because it is used brick, so you just knock it off. And it's used like that, so you can hammer things and not break your hand. All right. So we've laid down our coat, our base of bricks. Now we're gonna build the walls. The first set goes the long way, and then we put the, um, the tall way, like that. Yeah. Yeah, those bricks are sometimes slightly different, so this is the, the part we gotta pay attention. What are we paying attention to? Um, you want it even? Well, yeah, you want it even there. Oh, okay. so. All right. How long is this gonna take to build? I don't know. In the book it said 20 minutes, but we'll see. I'll give you an hour. Yeah. So to build this, you need angle iron. And I went to the store, and I was surprised at how much angle iron cost, and then I realized, am I talking loud because I have these on? Um, but go find an old mattress frame like this, and you can cut it up, and you've got a bunch of angle iron because it's made, it's made of angle iron, you know? Okay, now we're gonna build the roof here. This is where you're gonna take your angle iron that we cut. Your bed frame. The bed frame that we cut up. These walls will seem really precarious as you're building this, but when you put the roof on, it'll tie it all together. This is taking way longer than 20 minutes. I've never done this before. Very cool though. So here's the back. The back is just laid straight across. That's pretty even. Yeah, the brick, uh, you, you know, our used brick is uh, used, used in, in various slightly uh, size aberrations. So, oh, by the way, one last piece here and then this goes on like that. There's gonna be gaps in this, it's not gonna be perfect. But what do we say in Garden Fork? Done is better than perfect. Should I have a t-shirt that says that? <laughs> so I've got a bunch of kindling and two pieces of oak in there. Still 
stand back. Cool. <laughs> Is that what's supposed to be happening? I think so. All right, ready? What's on your pizza? Just some stuff. Okay. Oh, you just put it right on there, huh? For how long do you think? Uh, maybe like five minutes and then we're gonna turn it. <laughs> it's blackened pizza. It's driveway pizza, you know? <laughs> How cool is that? Very cool.